Welcome back to Educator.com. We're now going to look at a few extra examples to calculate the range, the standard deviation, and the interquartile range. So the first data set that we're looking at are high temperatures for eight days in January 2009, and these are in Chicago. Okay, our data range from, you know, we have 25, 24, 18, 25, 6, 1, 16, and 31. So the first thing we want to do is to calculate the range. The range just happens to be our maximum value minus the minimum value. So I'm taking 31 minus 1, and I have 30 degrees as my range. Now for the standard deviation, what I want to do, this is a sample because there's more than eight days in January, so n equals eight, I want to add up my observations. So I'm adding up 25 plus 24 plus 18 plus 25 plus 6 plus 1 plus 16 plus 31. And when I add those up, I get 144. I also want to take each observation and square it and add them up. So I'm taking 25 squared plus 24 squared plus 18 squared plus 25 squared plus 6 squared plus 1 squared plus 16 squared plus 31 squared. And that gives me a value of 3,404. Okay, so S is going to be my standard deviation. I'm taking the square root of 3,404 minus 144 squared divided by 8, and that whole thing divided by 7, and make sure that 7 is included in the square root sign, and you should get 10.27827. And then finally, what we want to do is the interquartile range, so I have to order my data from lowest to highest. One, 6, uh, 16, 18, 24, 25, 25, and 31. Now my median would fall in between those two values. So the lower half of my data are these four values. 1, 6, 16, and 18. So Q1, because it's four observations, is the average of those middle two. 6 plus 16 divided by 2 is 11. My upper half of the data are these four observations. So I'm taking the average of those middle two. So we're taking 25 plus 25 divided by 2, which gives me 25. And so the interquartile range is going to be 25 minus 11, or 14.